you guys. This is my uh, quick review on the GTR racing chair. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you want a quick review, <laughs> one of those three second review, <laughs> straight to the point, I don't recommend it. But let me just tell you why. Now, for those of you who wanna sit back and understand why, here's why. I'm just gonna give you an overall shot of the chair. It's not bad. It's just, I want something more comfortable. Now, when I originally got the chair, these paddings were like a little, it was weird. You know, I'm not used to sitting in a chair that has these kind of paddings. But my biggest gripe with it is that it's not comfortable. If you push down, it's very, I don't know, it's, it's not as thick as I thought it would be. And the padding is, feels like, like a little, like a little pad and you sit on a hard surface. You think of sitting on the floor and you put a little bit of padding. That's kind of how this is. It's not good. Um, you can see it's very thin. You know, you look at the pictures on Amazon, you didn't think it would be this thin. I thought it would be about this, you know, maybe about here, but no. And then this is metal inside here. So you can see how it protrudes in a little bit. See, and then the back part, just to give you an idea, it's very, like I wanna say it's like this, when I could squeeze it in, you know? So you could take this out if you're not into all this and that's fine, I did, I tried it. Just overall, it's not comfortable. I think this adds, helps adds a little bit of support, depending on how, you, you know, posture. This helps your posture, basically. Um, the seat does go back, Pretty uh, not you know not too bad. I, I'll I'll show you guys real quick. That's as far back as it goes. Not too bad. See, goes up and down. So about this height. Now, I had the Oasis rollerblade wheels because this is more smooth and great on all surfaces. Um, let's see what else. This goes up about here. Now, one thing I noticed is that this side is a little, and I tighten it. You know, I saw reviews that it was loose and someone, um, another review, someone commented saying, you just gotta um, tighten it. It is tight. It's just that what I noticed, if, it's hard to tell because it's a little dark, but it's about one, two, three, four screws there. And it actually screws in. However, this one is only two, which would explain why it will be a little loose. Now, this I'm guessing is for, you know what? Uh, oh, probably uh, how easily this uh, leans back overall. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, I don't wanna make this a long review, but overall, it's not bad, it's just, if you're sitting down for about two hours or more, I feel like this right here is gonna get very uncomfortable. Now, to help, I put this there, but then just look how it looks. It just doesn't look right. So, why should I do that? And while it helps a little bit, I want a nice chair that I don't have to put that in that's gonna be very comfortable. And that's it. Um, I'm sure there's other gaming chairs, racing chairs that are very comfortable. This is about 159 so if you could just compare the price point, but it's just not for me. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think. If you have this chair, let me know what you think. If you're thinking about getting it, I don't know what to say. It, you know, everyone has, it's a different opinion for everyone.